and welcome to today's painting tutorial. Today we are going to be painting this painting together which is a field of flowers and we're going to be using acrylics for today's tutorial. Um, if you love painting flowers and you would like just a little bit more guidance, I do actually have a brand new acrylic um, flower painting course uh, which I've just launched and I show you exactly how to paint uh, these three paintings. It's a very um, in-depth course where I show you like how to build the layers, how to use your brush effectively and how to mix colours um, so that you get those really nice tones. So if that sounds good to you, I'll pop the link in the description box, you can go and check that out. It's currently only $7. Um, I'll also pop a little link in this uh, box in the corner so you can click through to it easily. Um, but for now, let's crack on with the painting tutorial and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so I've got my canvas, which is a canvas board. Then I've got some palette paper. The two brushes I'll be using are by Winsor & Newton Galleria range. These are called One Stroke. And uh, this one is a 12 millimeter and this one is a 25 millimeter. And as you can see, they're flat edge, which is really nice because uh, you can get a really nice soft blend, but you can also uh, add details with them. It's a really nice shape to use. Uh, I've also got an old rag here, which I'm gonna use for my brushes. I've got a container, ooh, a container full of water here. Feel free to use any jar or glass um, hanging around. And then the colors that I'll be using today are yellow, magenta, and blue. Um, specifically, I'm using Hansa yellow, primary magenta, and cobalt blue, but any yellow, pink, and blue will be absolutely fine. Um, I would recommend probably magenta more than red, um, but red will be okay if you can't get hold of magenta, that's fine. Okay, so let me just zoom you in. Okay, I'm going to use the big brush to start off with and we're going to pop a background in. So just rinse off your brush, just get it um, nice and damp so that the uh, bristles just feel a little bit wet. Not soaking wet, but just a little bit so we can mix our paint more easily. So damp off any excess onto your paper towel. Then we're going to be taking some white. We're going to be taking a little bit of blue, a little bit of yellow and a little bit of pink. So all the colours and we're going to create a nice sky blue colour but it's got a bit of warmth in it okay that's just about right so I'm going to add um, quite a bit of water so that it spreads really nicely on the canvas I'm just going to use a backwards forwards motion to get that on the canvas. Okay, so once you feel like you've got a nice, even background, then just uh, rinse off your brush. Now 
Now it's up to you if you want to create an even further blend here. If you want to, you can take a bit of the blue and blend that into what we've just made. And once you get a colour that's kind of in between, we can kind of take that down and blend that out again, going side to side. Just create a really nice blend. And then we can do the same from the bottom. We can add just a little bit more yellow and more white, which I already need a top up. <laughs> so more yellow, more white, and maybe just a little bit of the pink, just to take the green edge down. And then we can take that in from the bottom. kind of gives a, a nice illusion of like a, a sun setting. It just gives it a little bit of interest, which will make it come alive a little bit more. Okay, and then once you're happy with that, rinse off your brush and we're gonna wait for that to completely dry. Okay, so once that is pretty much dry, it's almost there, it's a bit tacky, but that's fine. I'm gonna take my slightly smaller brush and again, just pop a little bit of water on it so it's damp. And we're going to create a green now, so we're going to take some of the cobalt blue with some of the yellow and mix that together. Now I want it more of a, a yellow green, so I'm going to add more yellow than I am blue to get this really nice kind of like electric green. And then I'm going to just very abstract paste that at the bottom of my canvas. And then I'm gonna add some white and more yellow. So it's a really nice light green. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing. So using my brush, kind of just really abstract brush strokes here. Okay, and then rinse off your brush. Once your brush is nice and clean and you've dried off as much paint as you can so it's uh, quite dry, you can even just go in and just kind of like, um, what's the word, like kind of blend it in a little bit, smudge some of those edges so those edges aren't quite as hard, just smudge it in, it gives the illusion of it being a bit more in the background. and then rinse off your brush. I think I need even more white yet again. <laughs> okay, so next what I'm gonna do is make a light pink. So we want a small amount of magenta and lots of white. To get a really nice light pink, very, very light. And this is where we're going to draw in where we want our flowers. So it's up to you if you kind of like want to draw them in in pencil first. I would recommend going straight in with paint and you can always paint over it if you don't like it. Um, I'm going to just use like the side of my brush just to carve in some petals. And I'm just gonna keep popping in where I want my flowers to be in my meadow of flowers. I'm just gonna pop them all in this light pink color for now and then we can go in and change them slightly if we want to. Okay. 
So you can put your flowers wherever feels good for you. I'm going to move them around slightly from the reference photo, but you know, not loads. And then I'm just going to kind of in an abstract way, as you can kind of see on the reference photo, kind of blend in some of those, uh, oh, I've mixed into my green by accident, whoops, kind of blend in some of those flowers at the bottom. And I kind of want that in an abstract way, so I don't want to add too much detail, just to give that illusion of it being a meadow of flowers. Okay, and then wash out your brush. Okay, next what I'm gonna do is take the magenta and kind of mix it into that mixture that we had before. So it's somewhere in between magenta straight from the tube and the light pink we had kind of, uh, you know, if you haven't got enough on the palette, just add a little bit of white just to get that medium pink colour. And we're going to use this for some details now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it very lightly with my brush and kind of like bring it down very lightly. So it kind of picks up the texture of the canvas as well. And I don't want to cover up the whole flower that we've just painted. I just want it to have some areas still showing through and just have some like uh, lil low lights and then keep the bits we've already added as the highlights. Like this is like the shadow of the underside of the petal. And I kind of like doing this while the other layer of the petal is still wet because it kind of blends together nice. But don't worry if your other layer of petal is already a bit dry, it's fine. Okay, now I'm just going to use this mixture to kind of do like we did before and just start adding some uh, little flowers around the base as well. Just little, just even little dots really. Which will just give it a bit more depth. And then rinse off your brush. Okay, now I'm going to go straight in with the magenta. Uh, feel free to use a smaller brush if you want to. I'm just going to use paint right on the edge of my paintbrush so that I don't do too much. Um, and I'm just going to now add in like even more detail and shadow into each of the petals. I don't want to add too much at this point, just kind of like a little hint. And then I'm also going to add in some, oh, that's quite a lot of paint. Also going to add in some little magenta flowers in this really nice bright magenta, just using the corner of my brush.
and they don't even really have to be like flower shapes it can just be little hints and it lets your eye make up the rest okay I think that's enough for now and then I'm gonna rinse my brush off Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some of the yellow right on the corner of my brush and I'm not going to do it to every flower but some of the flowers I'm just going to add in a little yellow centre. Okay, just like that and then I'm going to rinse off my brush again. Right, now I'm going to wait for that to completely dry and then we're going to go over with the, um, the stalks for each flower. But let's wait for that to completely dry first. Okay, so once that is dry, now we're going to create a green again. Uh, so take some blue and we're going to add a bit of yellow. I need a bit more yellow actually. It's started to dry quite a bit. So you get a really nice green, kind of like a mid green. So we want it to be in the middle of the yellow and the blue. So not too blue green, not like a turquoise and also not like a, a lime green, kind of in the middle. And then I'm just gonna add just a tiny bit of magenta because that's gonna take down that saturation and make it a bit more realistic. Oop, maybe that was a bit too much. That's okay actually. I just need to add a little bit of white, it's all drying quite fast. So you can see that we've got this really nice green and it's not too like lime green, it's just, it's just a nice mid green that's not drawing too much attention to itself. And I'm going to put just a very small amount of paint on. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is rinse off my brush again so it's clean. And then just take the very edge with paint on, like literally the very, very edge to the point where you can't even uh, barely see on your brush because what we're going to do now is we're going to draw these lines now I don't want you to be too perfect um, but also kind of you want to be quite measured with it so you kind of want to before you put your your paintbrush to the canvas you want to see where you're aiming to go so I want to end up around here in fact you can even like kind of draw that on and I'm going to start here and I'm just going to take it down okay not perfect but it's okay and I actually quite like the fact it's not gone like all the way quite heavy because I'd rather have these wispy uh, wispy stems and I'm going to do the same with this one and then just keep on adding all your little stems I'm just going to come all the way over here and rather than putting them straight down it's quite nice to have a bit of a curve so it makes it look like it's billowing in the wind And then feel free to just make more green if you need it. I've run out already. So remember, blue, yellow, get your nice mid green, then add a bit of magenta. I'm also just gonna dot my brush to pick up the line. So rather than doing like a whole line, you can just use like a stamp kind of thing to create a line to. And I'm also going to use this same green to kind of like block in some sh more shadowy areas into the meadow. And then next what we're going to do, we want to like connect the stem to the flower. So I'm going to pop some of this green on the corner of my paintbrush and then kind of, they have like this star shape. So kind of like create a little circle and then have these like star, star bits coming out from it. And I'm just going to connect that to 
my line. <laughs> And then on the picture you can see like quite a few uh, stems and heads where the petals have come off. So I'm just going to kind of like do a little dot and then like a little stem coming down where it's obviously lost its petals. can even add some yellow onto the top of them as well. And I'm just going to add some dots for more like the background ones just to build up them layers. And give the illusion of like a field full. And then I'm going to rinse off my brush. So I feel like this area is quite, quite bare. So I'm going to add in some more flowers here. I'm going to take the magenta and just add a little bit of white. Um, I'm thinking that this flower needs a bit more petals to it like that and then also I might add in maybe something here and something here so feel free just to have a look at your painting and see where you feel like there's maybe a little bare area or where you just feel like a flower would look really good there Just feel free to add it in. And then I think I might take some of the magenta as well and just add in a few more darker pink areas. Okay, and then rinse off your brush. And then lastly, I'm going to take some of the white and add it to the pink. So it's like a very, very, very light pink. Almost more like a white, but just, uh, just not quite white. And then add in some highlights. And you can use the shape of your brush for this as well. can even add a bit of texture at this stage. I 
Okay, and then rinse off your brush. Okay, so keep uh, playing with yours until you feel like uh, you've finished and you're really happy with it. Uh, feel free to edit it and change it however many times you like. But I think for today's lesson, um, I am happy with mine. Actually, the only thing that I've just spotted is just this little head here. I just feel like it needs a yellow bit on it. <laughs> and all the petals have flown away. <laughs> In fact, maybe here as well. So yeah, feel free to keep editing for however long you want, but I think that is my painting finished for today, and I really hope you enjoyed it. So thank you so, so much for joining me in today's tutorial. Um, I would absolutely love to see your creations, so if you post it online, make sure to tag me at katiejobblingart, uh, on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. I'd love to see it. And if you loved that tutorial and you would like more, please feel free to check out my new mini course in the description box where we will be painting flowers together and I will guide you through all the steps and processes to create um, beautiful flower paintings. So thank you so, so much and uh, have a beautiful day. Bye.